Julie Christine, and in this video, I'm going to show you this beautiful and fresh monochromatic look. And I'm also going to show you how I naturally cover acne. I'm going to start, as always, by priming her skin. McKenna has combination skin, so I put a mattifying toner in her T-zone, and then a primer for combination skin over the rest of her face. I'm going to do this entire look using one of my favorite Viseart Theory palettes. I'm going to start by taking the very lightest matte peach color and going all the way over her lid and up to her crease. I'm using a flat, dense shader brusher, but you could also use a fluffy brush for this as well. Next, I'm going in with the medium matte peach and a very large fluffy blending brush. I'm gently swirling this over the outer half of her lid and up through her crease. And because these colors are so soft that I'm using, I'm not gonna use any dark shadows today, so I'm taking this up pretty high. I'm leaving a little bit of that lighter white peach color on her brow peeking through, but I'm bringing this up almost to her brow bone. The brand Viseart is one of my absolute favorites. They have the best matte shadows and they blend so beautifully. So I was super excited to film a look using one of their palettes. Next, I'm sizing down my brush and I'm going into that darkest peach color now and I'm just swirling it gently on the outer V of her eye, so near her lash line and then up into the crease. I'm not taking this color up as high as the others. This is more just to give the eye some shape. So I'm concentrating it down near her lash line and then bringing it up into her crease about to the center of her eye. If you struggle with eyeshadow placement, I have an awesome video for you guys that I'm going to link in the description bar below. It's everything you need to know about how to apply eyeshadow, which brushes to use, and everything like that. So go give it a watch and let me know what you think. All these colors are very similar in tone, but I want to make sure that I have some dimension. That's why I used each of the three shades. And I do want to add a little bit of shimmer in the center of her lid. And I'm just going to smooth on the coral colored shimmer in the top right of the palette. I'm just lightly doing this in the center of her eye. The undertones of this shadow are going to match everything else I did. I just wanted a pop of sheen on the middle of her lid to create some variation for the matte colors I'm using. Now I'm going to go in with gel liner and do a really, really thin line of liner on the top of her lashes. I want this look to be very bright and very soft and airy, so I'm going to keep it super thin and I'm only going to wing it out slightly, nothing dramatic. Before we go in with the concealer and foundation, I'm going to clean up any fallout under her eyes. Next, I'm going to mix two shades of foundation and do very light layers to give her the coverage she needs. McKenna has fantastic skin, but she does have a couple areas that need some more coverage than others. So what I like to do is use my beauty blender and lightly buff in a very thin foundation at a time. So I'm going through her T-zone, which doesn't need a lot of coverage, and I'm probably just going to do one layer there. But on her cheeks, where we have a little bit more pigmentation, I'm going to do a couple layers. And I really like to press it in with my beauty blender. That way everything blends seamlessly and you get a very flawless finish. I like to do my concealer after the foundation. I found that if you do it before, you're just gonna buff it away when you press it in with the beauty blender. So anything that needs extra coverage after I get those layers of foundation on, I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer because it's extremely full coverage. Next, I'm gonna take another shade of Tarte Shape Tape and I'm going to highlight her face. So I'm going to bring it in upside down triangles under her eye, a little V in her forehead, a tiny strip on the bridge of her nose, and a little bit on her chin. And same as before, I'm going to lightly press this in with the other side of my beauty blender. I do not like my concealer to be thick, especially under the eyes, so I really like using the beauty blender because it absorbs some of the excess product. Next, I want to give a little bit more shape to her face. Now that we've highlighted her, I want to contour her and bronze her up a little bit. I like this shade because if you use it right, it kind of works as a bronzer and a contour. And keeping with the monochromatic peach tone theme of this look, I'm going to use my very favorite pink blush and put it on the apples of her cheeks. As you can see from my blush palette, I definitely love my peaches and pinks. Okay, I want her skin to be super glowy and super luminous. So I'm going to use the Hourglass Ambient Light Palette and I'm going to actually put this all over her face forehead, cheekbones, pretty much everywhere. This palette is awesome because it's not glittery, so you can use it all over the face. Now for even more glow, I'm gonna use my Anastasia Glow Palette and do this on the high points of her cheekbones, down the bridge of her nose, and above her lip. This palette is like super glowy, so I'm gonna be careful where I put this, whereas with the Hourglass, you can kind of go everywhere and it's totally gonna be fine. A trick I like to do to make the lips look more full is to do a little bit of highlight right kind of in the cupid's bow. It looks so pretty. 
Now I'm gonna line her lips with a peach tone lip liner with a little bit of a brown base. And then I'm gonna go with a shimmery peach lipstick. I don't usually like frost on the lips, but I'm gonna apply a gloss over top that's gonna make this look really seamless and pretty. Next I'm gonna take some of that lighter peach that we put on her eyes. You can choose any of the peach mattes and just brush it under her eyes just to add some of that peachiness when her eyes are open. McKenna has beautiful full brows are ready, so I'm just gonna lightly accentuate them with powder. I don't want them to be too dark, so I'm not gonna use a gel liner and I'm not gonna use a pencil. I'm just gonna take a natural hair angled brush and lightly fill in the arches. Okay, now for my favorite part, we're gonna do lashes. In this video, I'm gonna use what makeup artists like to call individual lashes. They're tiny, tiny little lash clusters that you put in one at a time. I'm just gonna quickly show you how I do them. I'm actually working on a full and complete individual lash tutorial which will be out soon, so make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you'll be notified when it's uploaded. These lashes do take a little bit longer than the strips, but the result is so insanely beautiful. I love doing these. If I ever have the extra time, I will always do them on a client. So what I like to do is layer them. I do one layer first, which looks like this, and then I add the second layer, which looks like this. I'll have everything I use on my Canada today listed down in the description box below. Make sure you guys give this video a like and subscribe to my channel.